Very Merry Christmas to all of you. It is truly my privilege and joy to wish all of you this very special day uh, where we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ uh, 2,000 years ago. And it is truly a joyous occasion. It is because of the love of God that Jesus was sent to the face of the earth. He is the best gift that God gave us. On Christmas Day, every one of us, we give out gifts. But our Heavenly Father gave us a very precious gift. And that precious gift was our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. And the subsequent verse in John 3.17, it gives the reason why Jesus was, son, was sent. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but through him he, we might all be saved. In the Garden of Eden, we see the very first Adam, the first Adam who was in the Garden of Eden, he had sinned. And because he had failed and death came upon all humanity, he had to send the last Adam. And the last Adam was Jesus Christ. The first Adam in the Garden of Eden yielded to temptation and he brought death upon all mankind. But Jesus came to return back the life to us so that we can be born again and through him we can overcome temptation. The first Adam wanted to be like God. But in the, second, in the last Adam we see that God became man. In the Garden of Eden we see that the first Adam realized after he had sinned that he was naked and he received clothes to cover him his nakedness. So that nakedness represents righteousness even in the Garden of Eden. In the last Adam we see that Jesus was stripped naked and he hung on the cross for us. In the Garden of Eden, the first Adam tasted death because of a tree. But uh, Jesus came and he tasted death on a tree, which was the cross. So in the first Adam we see in the Garden of Eden, he hid his face from God because of sin. But in the last Adam, who is Jesus Christ, God hid his face from him because all our sins was put upon him. In the first Adam, we see that he blamed his wife or his bride for his sin. But in the last Adam, we see that he took the blame for the bride, which is us. We are the bride of Christ. And in the first Adam, we see that because of his sin, thorns came up over the face of the earth. The punishment of thorns came upon the face of the earth. But in the last Adam, we see that Jesus took a crown of thorns upon himself. In the first, Ad, in the first Adam, in the Garden of Eden, we see that sin brought a curse on humanity. But in the last Adam, who is Jesus Christ, we see that he became a curse for us. In the first Adam, in the Garden of Eden, disobedience brought death. But in the last Adam, we see that obedience of Jesus Christ brought life to all of us. So we see that God's love was fully expressed in the last Adam, who is our Lord Jesus Christ. That we might not be condemned, but we might be saved 
through him. This is the greatest gift that we can receive. Hallelujah. So, blessed Christmas to all of you as you meditate on these great truths. God bless all of you.